Welcome back to another vlog. And today in this video, uh, you guys saw like the morning. This morning I went to church and everything. I was going to make a video about like what I eat in a day and everything. But I changed my mind because I haven't even ate enough to give you guys that video. Anyways, I've been in my Bible this morning. We're in 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 12 today. Um, so it says, Now we ask you, brothers and sisters, to acknowledge those who work hard among you, who care for you in the Lord and who admonish you. Hold them in the highest regard and love because of their work. Live in peace with each other. And we urge you, brothers and sisters, warn those who are idle and disruptive. Encourage the disheartened. Help the weak and be patient with everyone. Make sure that nobody pays wrong with wrong. Make sure that nobody pays back wrong with wrong. But always strive to do what is good for each other and for everyone else. Gratefulness is a big deal. And I'm, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and act like I've been, I've been grateful my whole life. Some point in my life I was entitled. It's the hardest thing to admit. You might never hear me say it again. Um, but it took a lot in me and it took a lot of getting older to start understanding what the value of things meant. I really like where it says, now we ask you brothers and sisters to acknowledge those who work hard among you. And that sense right there is just telling you to be grateful. I don't know, just reading this verse, it just kind of brought that sense of gratefulness. You thanking your friends or thanking your parents or thanking your grandparents or thanking your coaches or thanking your buddies for reaching out to you or anything like that. Or even like reaching out to people even when they don't always reach out to you. But I just think the importance of being grateful gives you such a different perspective. And you start to realize that a lot of the things that we complain about are the very things that we dreamed and prayed about. So now that God has given it to us, it's like we want to kind of carry this weight on our own and act like we just have so much going on, but we don't realize six months ago, three months ago, two weeks ago, we were just praying about the very situation. But anyways, if you guys can take anything out of this, read your Bible. Make sure you thank somebody. You know what I'm saying? I know everybody may not have treated you amazing. Maybe you haven't had the greatest upcoming, but I can guarantee somebody in your life has made a sacrifice, uh, whether that be time or money or effort. Just make sure you appreciate those things because sometimes we wait too long and we don't realize the things we have until they're gone. And I don't want to continue to live that way. I don't want us to live our lives like that. I want us to appreciate life. I want us to appreciate the people around us. I want us to thank God for as simple as just waking up this morning because everybody didn't wake up. First Thessalonians chapter five, verse 12. Um, that's where we are today. So for the rest of this video, um, we're gonna talk about that. Yeah, man, like I was saying, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I just uh, I just kind of been in my room a lot. I haven't really gone out. I haven't really gone to do much, like outside of practice and stuff. I'm gonna straighten out my room. Um, and I thought about just kind of making like a cinematic video. I don't do a lot of cinematic stuff anymore because it is hard and it does take a lot of time. You do have to mess with the colors for a while, but I feel like today, since it's kind of a rest day, it is Sunday, I don't have a lot to do, and I'm not really gonna show you guys baseball. Can't really show you guys that much since I'm on campus now. And I don't know, I just wanna have fun. I wanna enjoy what I'm posting. I don't wanna feel obligated. Um, so I wanna make a cinematic video, just kinda like a Sunday reset type of thing. Get my room cleaned up, get some things straightened up around my room, and hope you guys enjoy it. And maybe if you guys enjoy it enough, I'll start doing a little more of it, but honestly, it does take a lot of work. It does take a little more time. And I also like the lifestyle type of videos that we do already. Make sure you guys keep striving for greatness. Try to be the best that you can be. And uh, let's get into it, man. Let's clean up. Sacrifice for you. I'm 
is all clean. Let me show you guys. There's my skateboard. You guys can see, like, I did clean everything up. This is probably the most... I was finna wear my boots today, but... I feel like that would look kind of goofy. But right now, I'm about to dip, man. We're about to go see Aiden. Aiden's scooping me up. And yeah, so I'm going to see you guys uh, when we get with him. So, And I think he's driving, so here we are, man. I'll see y'all boys. Alright guys, so it is the next day. I didn't really like give you guys like an outro yesterday. Honestly, I was just kind of tired. Came home and just kind of got in the bed. Today I'm in Limitations. I actually saw this verse on Instagram. I wanted to look at it for myself, but Limitations 3 verse 28. It says, let him sit alone in silence for the Lord has laid it on him. Let him bury his face in the dust. There may yet be hope. Let him offer his cheek to one who would strike him and let him be filled with disgrace. For no one is cast off by the Lord forever. Though he brings grief, he will show compassion. So great is his unfailing love. I think in like the last couple of videos, I've spent a lot of time like talking about how we treat others and like how we should love people and how we should like forgive people and like always choosing to be the bigger person, which is like something I strive for. But I really like where it says in 28, it says, let him sit alone in silence for the Lord has laid it on him. A lot of times you just got to go sit and be with yourself. Like it's not even about the people around you. And I actually just spoke to a kid and um, he was asking, you know, like, I feel like I have to prove to people. I have to, you know, show people that I'm good and like this, that and how. But the truth is you don't you don't play the game to to prove to other people that you're good And if you are you're doing it for the wrong reason because at the end of the day You're not ever gonna be fulfilled by man. You're never gonna be validated by man There's always gonna be something in man's eye that could be better and I'm saying man But that's really your peers or an adult because if you're doing it just to please others You're never really gonna get that satisfaction or that validation that you're looking for like you just have to You gotta realize that the more time you spend with yourself is the more time that you get to understand who you are as a person and it's not a bad thing to be alone in the time that you are alone that's a great opportunity to figure out who you are figure out what you like to do figure out what else you like to do outside of your sport like your sport cannot be who you are I say it all the time your sport is not who you are it's something that you do because once you make a sport your identity now all your support and all your love and now your whole personality is dependent on how the game is and if there's no game <laughs> you kind of have nothing left so take this verse and run with it or limitations 3 verse 28 take some time to yourself see what all you have to work on find some new hobbies find some new habits and uh have a great day man you know what I'm saying yeah man for today I don't know exactly anything that I'm gonna do today I know I want to hit and lift so I probably gonna hit and squat i actually wanted to knock a lot of this stuff out like way sooner it's 11 30 i've been up for like two hours haven't really done anything but i was actually just talking to my boy aiden if i unlock my phone look at him but yeah i'm gonna go hit at some point i'll let you guys know when i'm getting ready to leave probably not gonna do a whole lot of recording today um honestly because i gotta figure out what i want to do going forward i know i'm not really able to like record a lot with practice and once we really get going it's not gonna be a lot for me to be able to i don't know showcase for if that makes sense so i'm trying to figure that out i do enjoy talking about topics and maybe i did get a proposal to start a podcast i don't know if you guys would even like listen to it so i don't want to waste my time in an area that's you know what I'm saying? I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it for you guys. But anyways, I'll let you guys know when we're getting ready to go. Uh, kind of what the rest of the day looks like. But I'll let you guys know whenever we uh, we get a move on. So, let's do it. Not be where I, I was hoping.
Freaking move some circles! Some circles, boy! Wake up! Watch this. Wake up! Alright, bro. We're about to. I finished hitting and everything. We're right now about to lift. There's Aiden. There's Big Yates. We're about to squat. I'm probably not going to talk a whole lot. I'm trying to find the music to set the vibe. Anyways, so I'm picking yes. you guys up as we get into the lift. And I don't know whatever else today will hold for us, but we shall see. So let's go. It's much later in the day. Um, I'm actually back home, but I want to show you guys the speaker that my boy gave me. Shout out my boy Aiden Woods. Um, he did give me the speaker, and I was kind of hesitant because I didn't know if he was for real. And I have like headphones and stuff, and like, but he gave me this speaker, and I don't have a speaker. Let's just open it. It's the Flip Six. I don't know anything about it, but let's see. I'm not even gonna do like a big un unboxing because I'm tired tonight. Oh. Bro, this is about to make training fire. Bro, this is gas, bro. Shout out my boy Aiden. I just wanted to show you guys that since I'm back home. Right now, I'm about to read my Bible, try to get this video edited. Just try to focus, man. I waste a lot of time, bro. I'm going to stay up pretty late. It's about 10 o'clock right now. I got like two hours in me that I want to dedicate pretty hard to this video. So, so I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Y'all have a good night.